Caterpillar machines are designed to provide the safest possible method for personnel to mount and dismount the machine. It is a key consideration for design engineers. Despite that, year after year, injuries occur when people are either getting on or getting off a machine. As it states in the operation and maintenance manual for every Caterpillar machine, many accidents result from the failure to observe basic safety rules or precautions. Mounting and dismounting accidents certainly fit that description. Most importantly, or sadly, this category of accident is completely preventable, 100% completely preventable. Most heavy equipment is accessed by either a ladder or a stairway. We'll look at how they may differ, but one basic rule remains standard. One basic rule must be followed. That rule, always maintain three points of contact. Simply put, either two hands and a foot or two feet and one hand must always be in contact with the machine. There can be no excuses or exemptions for not following this most basic of rules. Safe machine mounting and dismounting begins with an inspection of the handrails, steps and ladders. Are they free of debris, ice, snow, mud or water? Have they been damaged? Are they free of sharp edges or spurs? Are they firmly attached? Are all bolts that are supposed to be there actually in place and holding firmly? With all that done, let's look first at machines with vertical ladders. Three points of contact apply, of course, but here that means that hands must be free. It means no lunch bucket, no tools, not even a rag. And always face the machine when getting on or off. Begin with both feet on the ground and both hands on the handrails. If you have an item you will want once on the machine, place it on a level, dry area and retrieve it when you're firmly on the machine. Reverse this process when exiting the machine only after you have made note of the following points. One, did you stop the machine in an area that will provide you a flat, level surface to step down on? And two, has anything changed with the ladder? Has it been damaged during the shift? Has it accumulated water, ice, snow, or debris? Remember when exiting that three points of contact means that both hands and one foot must be securely on the machine when your foot touches the ground. Many injuries have occurred when operators decided to jump from the last step to the ground. Larger Caterpillar machines will have stairways to facilitate entry and exit. While that provides no exemption from the three points of contact rule, it does allow a person to carry a small item while mounting the machine. Simply slide the free hand up the handrail as you would on any banister. Make sure you have a firm grip on the handrail before moving a foot up to the next step. When exiting, simply reverse the process and proceed down as you would on any stairs. That is, face the direction you are traveling. The advice offered in this video might seem pretty basic, but that's the point. By following these basic common sense rules, you'll ensure that you are safely home every day.